sure why it's so disturbing. I think you don't want to look like it's so disturbing. Right, well, supposing we start off with that, asking why we find this so disturbing, because as she reads it, she finds it disturbing. And I think that's not uncommon, is it? For me, I, I found that the focus of uh, the Lucifer figure was grounded in opposition, and there doesn't seem to be that much being said about that perennial problem of evil, which is, I, I, it feels to me as if it's a different thing. And so there's a way that the book can be read where uh, you're only dealing with this slanderer, uh, oppositional side of of Lucifer. That, 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 uh, that's the answer to the question why I found the book slightly. What are you saying about evil then? Are you saying that the book doesn't address the question of evil? I think there are uh, the personification of evil. Uh, uh, people from, with a Christian background or Judaic background they tend to situate Lucifer or Satan uh, as well as the accuser. Uh, to be evil and the opposition in uh, defense of the devil appears almost to be almost good natured <coughs> what's evil? it's, it's, it's devil, devil without the D it's it's evil Yes. So, in that first instance, when we are looking at words and we're saying, 
this is our country, <coughs> this is her life. Yeah. Really, all is life. Yeah. Yes. All is life. Yes, what appears to be anti life. And, 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 and that which is turned away. This is part on page 31. Yes. And this uh, is uh, uh, speaking about how he. Could you speak it loudly? On page 31. This is speaking of how he um, created the world. Yes. And, and not only does he say that, he then says, God <coughs> shine light. So it's, it's as though Lucifer gave up the light to grind the earth, yeah. and he gave it back to God, and then God lit up yes. his creation. Yes, well, there's a so lot about creation mm -hmm. in the next section of the book, mm -hmm. isn't there? And, you know, I don't really want to go into more detail of that, because it's a whole lot in itself. Um, but in that section, Lucifer falls again, doesn't he? From the light, from the Lucifer state, into the fallen state of Satan. And he does that by turning himself on himself, doesn't he? Yes. And grinding himself into many thousands of pieces, and grinding those into thousands more. He's and at that point he becomes darkness again. Mm -hmm. But it's a conscious thing. It's a conscious yeah. doing, it's a will to deliver it. It's all where we fall. But he then becomes dark, and the assembled ones are terrified. Mm -hmm. And they run, don't they, howling with fear. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because they've seen him fall into, into darkness. Mm -hmm. And this is in the creation of the world, and then afterwards he creates the world. But God puts the lights into the world. Yes. Surely, in that hymn, uh, there's a hymn about Lucifer being the bright morning star that's going to guide where the, the, the demons lay. Yeah. Yes. So why, why find the book disturbing? So it, it, I thought the, the root of the question seemed to be an existential question directed to uh, as opposed to a theological one, as opposed to like evil being the lesser good. Um, that is a discussion about about relative relative good. Uh, perhaps I didn't uh, put my feelings about it clear enough. The book doesn't the book doesn't say that there is evil, and neither has anybody here up to now. It's been a sort of, well, whatever it is, it comes from God, so it can't be bad type of approach. And I, I would like to ask, in, in that case, I would like to ask anybody else who put their hand up who found the book disturbing, why they found the book disturbing. The writer, Eugene, uh, the name of him, has been christening at some point than all angels, standing against the door. And as he stood there, his hand was like that at the back. <laughs> and, and then you can see it. And he, it's what's on the paper there. It's like dialectic. I've got a picture of that. You've got a picture of yes, that? Yes, yeah. That's not uncommon. He, it, it's living with the contradiction of what you mean by evil and the opposite of it. No, it's not. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to press this that much. Yeah. If some people find the book disturbing, then they either know why they find it disturbing or they don't know why they find it. And I do know a little bit about the nature of good and evil and, I, you know, Answer to Job by Young is a very good book on the subject, for instance. But, okay, Zohar, why did you, in the past, find the book disturbing? Because that's what you said. Well, to me, that's quite simple because I don't like things that I can't come to terms with. Well, why couldn't you come to terms with it? I get to know everything. I mean, oh. I Ah, because you didn't, didn't understand, understand it. it. I couldn't concentrate through it. Ah. I know why now. I was, as, I was identifying as I read it with the assembled ones. Yeah. Mm. As we read a book, we tend to identify right. one of the characters, don't we? Mm. We like, you know, whatever you like a good novel, because the hero or the heroine is a good character to identify with. And as you read this book, consciously or otherwise, we identify with somebody in the book. And I was identifying with the assembled one. Ah. I had no right to think of myself as Lucifer, you know, who would want to anyway, kind of thing. You know, I'm a, a good, well brought up Anglican, aren't I? Right. I was once upon a time. <laughs> and then suddenly when I read it, I found that I, I recognised that I was identifying with I, Lucifer, as I think you are intended to in this book. It's written in the first person, I. 